Hey, how's going? Today I'll show you the easy way how you can get TVMate app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process and setup is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And now without any further ado, let me show you how to get TVMate app to your Fire Stick. So first of all, what you have to do is get an app called Unloader to your device. It's actually free to get from your official Amazon App Store or from Google Play Store, depends on what device you are using. So just go to search on your device and start typing the loader right here in the search bar. Usually there's even no need to enter the whole name of the app because as you can see, it already popped out for us at the bottom. So click on the loader and that's the application which you need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. You still have to set it up. And to do so, we'll go to settings. So let's click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down until you see My Fire TV. Click on it, and here we'll have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now what you have to do is you have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. Now, as you can see, for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and here just turn on that option for the loader. And what it does, it's actually going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Now let's go to the list of apps on our device. Here it is. And here we have the loader application. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing and it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great application for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, or pretty much any other device you may have, and they are not expensive for such a premium service. What you have to do in a VPN application, you just connect to any location, to any server, and from the moment you connect, all your internet traffic is going to be encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online and your internet provider won't be able to know what apps you are getting from the internet or what videos they're watching. And it's extremely important if you want to stay out of trouble online, especially when internet laws are getting stricter and stricter every year. So if you'd like to get a VPN or just give it a try, I do have a special offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below this video, you'll get four months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing deal. So go get those four months of NordVPN for free, and now let's use the internet safely. Now we just have to open the loader. On the left side menu, make sure to select home, and now in that search bar, we'll have to enter a code, which is going to be 28907. So once again, the code is 28907, and then you have to press on go. And now in a couple of seconds, a website is going to load, here it is, now what we have to do is scroll down a bit until we see a list of categories. Here it is, here's the list of categories and what we have to find here is the category of IPTV players. So let's click on it. And then a huge list of apps is going to open and here's the TVMate IPTV player app which we are looking for. So let's click on it. Then if any ad opens up for you here, make sure to click on close because if you click on open, it's going to mess everything up for you. So just click on close. Then a new web page should open for you. Here it is. Here, once again, we just have to scroll it down. And you have to keep scrolling until you see those two download buttons. As you can see, you can either download the usual version or the ad-free version of the TVMate app. If for some reason those buttons are not working for you, you can also use the backup download links, which are just below the usual download buttons. And now just click on download. And now the download of TVMate has started. Click on install in the right bottom corner. And after the app has been installed, do not press on open yet. Instead, click on done. Because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file. 
as we don't need it anymore. So click on delete, now delete once again. This way we have erased the not necessary installation file from our Fire Stick. Now once again let's go to a list of apps on our device, click on that button, and when it loads just scroll down and here you'll find the TVMate app on your Fire Stick. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way, TVMate app is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be very easy for you to access the app. Then once again, don't forget to use a VPN when streaming something online just to stay out of trouble. And once again, a link to a special offer for NordVPN is going to be in a pinned comment below this video. Then just open the app and here everything is pretty much straightforward. You will need to add a playlist, so just click on that button. And depending on what your provider has given you, you should either use the M3U playlist or Xtreme codes. If you have M3U link, you will just click on enter URL, enter the link here, which was given to you by your live TV provider, then click on next, and next once again. And this way you would add a playlist to your device. Alternatively, you can use Xtreme codes, you would enter the service address here, then username, password, and also click on next to add a playlist via Xtreme codes. And that's it, the app is really easy to use, 